round five of the Slick 50 Eagle One Midget World Challenge. Took to the quarter mile portion of Manzanita Speedway earlier today, and here's Mark Allen with those highlights. The winner of heat number three, Billy Bowe, had the pole for the 30 lap feature, but it was Paige Jones who jumped to the point from the green. Early on, Sammy Swindell in number one wasn't right, and Ron Schumann jumped past him for fifth in a battle between the only two men who have won the Midget World Challenge races entering today. The first caution came on lap six when a pair of 15s, Ricky Johnson and Dennis Davison, came to grief on the backstretch. This is the reason that restarts are waved off. The 48 car of Mark Passarelli was way too eager in getting by a gang of cars before the leader up front had ever gotten his foot into the throttle. Just past halfway, third place J.J. Yaley fell out. With 10 to go, Fred Teagarden and David Birmingham caused the yellow to wave. The restart was a mess. Passarelli and Eric Wilkins touched, and it was Schumann and Wilkins who paid the biggest price. Schumann was not pleased. It's going to happen one of these times, you know, they're starting over here in turn one, and people are in the corner when you start, and there's always going to be two abreast, and somebody's going to always be trying to root somebody out of the way. Um, if they started back there getting in turn three where they should, then we wouldn't have this problem. But as long as they start racing in turn one, they're going to crash cars. Shortly into the final laps, Swindell was second until he hooked a rut. A cute rollover and no harm done. He got a push off and continued. With five laps to go, Passarelli used the high road to get around Jones, but it was by no means a comfortable margin. The last lap was easily the best of the series to date. Jones stayed low, Passarelli a bit higher, and it was too close for them not to touch. The bump was just enough to let Jones squeeze out in front, and that proved the margin of victory in round five. Sammy Swindell rallied to third with Fred Teagarden fourth, and Craig Keel debuted in the series with a fifth. This is Mark Allen reporting for race day. All right, thanks, Mark. One program note for you. Shade Tree Mechanic will be seen in its entirety immediately following race day. Now, right after the race, uh, the midget race earlier, Ralph Shaheen caught up with the winner right after the finish. Pat, that was by far the greatest finish we've had all season long here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Eagle One Midget World Challenge. And finally, one of these victories goes to Paige Joan, and it was a tremendous victory. Describe for me that last lap. Well, um, I knew Mark Passarelli was a little bit faster than I was uh, by running up on top in one and two, but uh, I knew I was a little bit faster than him in three and four on the bottom. So it was a, kind of a toss-up, and I knew if he got a little bit ahead of me, he was going to try to pinch me down, so he did. And we had a little bit of contact, but uh, I knew I could beat him out of the corner. Um, you know, the American Racing, the Ellis Fontana ran great all day. Um, and, you know, it's just unstoppable. Now, you've been struggling with some engine woes on this car. You've been fast, you've been off, you've been fast. Have you finally got this sorted out, do you think? Well, I think so. Uh, you know, I've been planning on leaving everything down here in Phoenix every week. And... Uh, but it seems that I have to drive back to California every week because we have to rebuild our motor. We've just been having a little bit of problems, but I think we got it figured out now. Um, motor ran great, and I think we'll be strong for the rest of these races. You've been doing a lot of open wheel racing on pavement with your Barbara Saab career and things of that nature. Are you seeing, are you learning some things that you can take back to the midget? Yeah, uh, actually the midget, I think, gives you a lot more you can take over to Barbara Saab. You know, I've learned a lot about car setups with working with Larry Howard. Um, and also the car control. By throwing a car sideways, um, you learn a ton of car control, and uh, it really helps you out on the pavement. Um, but then again, you have close in the Saab series that I ran, it's uh, close racing, and um, you know we, we have close racing out here, so every bit of seat time helps out. Pat, seeing a Jones family member in Victory Circle is not new, but this one was classic Jones style. All right, thanks, Ralph. Today marks the halfway point in both the Sprint Car and Midget Racing Series. And here is how the top drivers in the Midget World Challenge have done so far. Despite that tumble he took today, Tempe, Arizona's Ron the Flying Shoe Schumann has the best average finish as we've reached the halfway in the 10 race series. Second place is all knotted up between Eric Wilkins and Mark Passarelli and they're averaging just a bit more than fifth so far. Sammy Swindell would have been right there with Schumann had he not suffered that vicious flip last week. And fifth is Jerry Coons from down the road right here in Arizona in Tucson. All right.